Presidential advisor Kellyanne Conway is looking terrific these days, and a lot of people want to know her secret. Kellyanne Conway is getting a lot of attention today, and it has nothing to do with politics. President Trump's counselor is sporting a new look, a fresh hairdo, glossy lips, and face contouring. Social media is buzzing with claims that the 53-year-old Conway went under the knife. Look at the side-by-side -side photos. What happened to Kellyanne Conway, tweeted radio host Stephanie Miller. Megyn Kelly was quick to call out those ripping Kellyanne for her looks and alleged plastic surgery when normally they are lecturing the rest of us on how these things are strictly off limits for any decent member of society. Cosmetic dermatologist Dr. Doris Day says it could be a result of fillers and Botox. If I look at the before and afters, her eyes are still proportionately the same, which makes me think it's not plastic surgery. What's playing into what we see as the differences is everything from sleep, to hair, makeup, lashes, playing with light and shadows, and maybe some in-office treatments. It's really a combination of all those things together. Conway won't comment, but she has lots to say as she launches a full-out attack at Trump's former national security advisor, John Bolton, ahead of the release of his hot new book. It is absolutely precious and adorable. Um, how all pro John Bolton you all are now. President Trump went off on Bolton during an interview last night with Fox's Sean Hannity. He was a washed up guy. I gave him a chance, but he broke the law. Very simple. A sneak peek of Bolton's interview with ABC News Martha Raddatz aired today on Good Morning America. You described the president as erratic, foolish, behaved irrationally, bizarrely. You can't leave him alone for a minute. He saw conspiracies behind rocks and was stunningly uninformed. He couldn't tell the difference between his personal interests and the country's interests. I don't think he's fit for office. I, I don't think he has the competence to carry out the job. There really isn't any guiding principle uh, that I was able to discern other than uh, what's good for Donald Trump's reelection. John Bolton, who is the fourth of the six people who've served as Mr. Trump's national security advisor, was in that post longer than anyone else.